Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> well, my name is uh, Franklin T. Peacock II. Freaky Frankie, that's what they call me though, I don't know why. Uh, and I'm here at the 13th Gate Haunted House. Uh, you see, I'm the janitor here. I, uh, I clean up after folks. They come on in here and they pee all over themselves and they, they pee all over the damn house. So I, I, I got to clean it up. I mean, who do you think cleans it up? Them folks in the insane asylum ain't doing it. Hell, they add to the problem. They pee on the floor right after I mop it up. And I say, hey! He quit your peeing and now just a whiz right on my shoes. And I got myself these shoes, you see. I got them, uh, found them on the side of the road. Hey, you know, this is, this are, they're all right. They're pretty good. They're boots, you know. They keep the piss out from between my toes. But uh, anyhow, uh, I noticed you used to look at my scar here. Uh, there's a funny story about how I got that scar. It's not funny ha-ha, it's funny tragic. Unless of course you're one of them fuckers with a sick sense of humor. In which case I guess it would be kind of funny ha-ha. You see, I got this scar uh, several years ago. I was, uh, I was out at one of the uh, local cemeteries marketplace, you know, getting myself some choice bits of meat for a stew. And I was crossing the road, and I, I admitted I did not look both ways before crossing. And BAM! This 18-wheeler come, run me right the fuck over, scattered my brains halfway from here to Lafayette. Now, the driver of the truck, now he's a Christian man, he, uh, he, he picked me up and he brought me on down the hospital there, and they managed to save my life such as it is <laughs> and they they put this metal plate in my head you see and uh, ever since I got this plate put in I got these awful damn headaches uh, it's cutting off the right optic nerve to my right eye I cover up my left eye I can't see a damn thing but anyhow uh, and shortly after I got this plate in my skull I started hearing voices I was going crazy there for a little while, but then I figured out it's just the CIA trying to control my thoughts. It's a good thing I figured that out, too. I was kind of worried there for a while. Now, you, you may ask yourself, now what? Why, why does the CIA care about old Frankie? Well, I'll tell you, I am considered to be a person of interest to the CIA. And uh, that, that started uh, back in the days before the war. That's the, that's the war north of aggression. That's what we called it. Y'all probably know it as a civil war. They trust me, there weren't nothing civil about it. Now, I didn't fight in the war, and but see, my family, they's poor. Uh, we never did no farming. Uh, we never uh, raised no cattle, nothing like that. Uh, and so we had to make do with what we had, you see. During the war, we noticed that on the battlefield, they just, they take the bodies and they bury them and they just leave all them choice bits lying around, like an arm, a leg, a thigh, something like that. Good juicy bits do. So uh, I reckon that's where I kind of got the taste of it, so to speak. Uh, uh, but then do you realize in this country there's an unutilized natural resource. Uh, they just bury tons of perfectly good meat in the ground every year. Well, folks like me, mavericks, uh, like to think of myself a maverick. Uh, uh, we, we found a way to live off the land, if you catch what I mean. So, uh, and somewhere around the 1920s, 1930s, I, I forget which, just plate fucks up my memory, something bad. Uh, I, I noticed there's kind of a funny taste to the meat I was digging up, you see. Shortly after that time, my eyes went white. Are you familiar with formaldehyde? Y'all know what this stuff is? Do you realize that formaldehyde is the most sinister plot concocted by the Central Intelligence Organization against the people of this country. They try to take folks like me, folks what living off the land and such, and, uh, and they say the FDA, they can't control the meat what comes up out the ground, you see, so they try to poison it. 
course, didn't have the intended effect on yours truly. <laughs> Hell, I think that uh, that may have something to do with uh, my longevity, you see. Uh, yeah, I've been here for many years now, I've lost count well past my expiration date, let's say, but the good Lord and His infinite wisdom has decided to lead me here till He decides to take me home. And until that day comes, I'll continue to sweep up here at the 13th gate and do my business as it is, uh, eke out a meager living. You know, I got myself a shanty, a lean-to back there yonder. It ain't, uh, it, it, it ain't much, but it sure as hell is enough to for a fella to live in, uh, I, I, I found they had a, a coffin just lying out there. It's one of them big old uh, coffins, you know, what's was made for fat fellas. Plenty of room for me and a lovely lady if uh, any of y'all get in England.